There I'm just going to give a quick demonstration on Windows Defender. Defender, you type it in in here. Defender Security Center. You go to Virus and Threat Protections. Um, Virus and Threat Protections Settings. Um, you can turn off real-time protection, if, but it's going to turn everything off all the time. Uh, the good thing is it realizes that we forget and it will turn itself back on which is good but then it becomes a pain when you don't remember that you forgot to put it in the exclusions so now we're going to do we're going to add an exclusion explain I'm already in an exclusion add an exclusion that did, totally didn't work I want X-Plane 11. Now oh, that was good. So, um... So I'm also going to add an exclusion of Pilot to ATC. Pilot to ATC. Also going to add an exclusion of um, we should do the whole folder probably. I'm going to try it this way. Select the folder. 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 Um, OBS. Um, and then I use... I'll leave Chrome out of this. Um, but that's how you set up exclusions go back um, yep so that's how you set up some exclusion zones um, hopefully your uh, by doing that you it won't be maddening like, like it was to me to have forgotten to s turn off uh, Windows Defender Windows Defender seems to be worth about 10 to 15 frames per second and probably more as it scans everything. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. Squawking1200.